quite young, and that first little book, what we call book pas de deux, right? Uh, she's always reading uh, her book, so she comes in with that book, and he says, oh, let me see this book. No, and he went and says, oh, God, you know, it's a young girl, it's kind of, mm -hmm. thank you very much. But in this uh, pas de deux, she fell in love with him, right? So uh, for him, it was just walking in the garden with a young girl, yeah, no, no, absolutely not interested. So that whole development starts there. This is why the book Pas de is very delicate and very difficult. Although not really technically, yeah, few arabesque pirates for the boys, right, double tours. But the, the essence of it is that he is which is himself, he, he, not ignoring her, but it doesn't really, she doesn't exist for him. So the first time, Maria, you could go a little more uh, easy, you know, when he, um, he finishes, um, uh, Roberto, you can, when, when you finish, finish and then say, oh, come, right? Rather than together, voila, no? Finish your foyte, and then you say, oh, come, right? Oh, that's much better, voila. And then, uh, Maria, you go up, very easy, first time, right? Then he goes a second time, and second time a little more. Voila. That was nice, the, the pot de bras after you finish. Lovely. Good. Uh -huh. And from here, he has forgotten already. So he puts her down without looking at her. Right? So let's continue there where we are, which goes now into this side. Roberto is a very fine classical noble dancer, which he is known for. Um, what he increased during the rehearsals of Onegin was uh, the drama and, um, and the expression of each scene, which at the beginning was not all there, but during the work, it was fantastic to watch how he developed in it. Now it gets a bit more lively. Thank you. You know, it's very difficult for Tatiana because Tatiana doesn't have anything to do here because it's mo mostly solo for Jägen. So it needs a very strong personality to still exist on stage while Onegin is doing the variation. Yeah? So, Shene, 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 Shene. And now he's, 
he is um, the next step really is that he is um, he is not a happy man. He is quite unhappy, right? And that sh should show. You know, Krenko did this with all that kind of long lunches, and you know he's traveling. He has a lot of money, of course, and this and that. You know, from the old aunt and. This is all the heaviness of his character coming out in this next session, right? Sicuramente per me è un personaggio difficile da affrontare eh, 